Hello everyone, this is Lisa Listen with LisaListen.com and the blog Are You My Cousin? Well, it's Tuesday, so it's time for another Tuesday's genealogy tip. And today I'm talking about photographs, specifically how to safely label a photograph. Now, I'm talking more about the um, thin paper type of photograph. This is actually a photograph of my grandfather that was taken in the 1940s. So it's one of the thin paper, as you can see, paper photographs. And when I received this photograph, it was not labeled. Now, I've, I knew who it was, but I can tell you that my children did not know, just looking at the photograph, who the gentleman was. So I wanted to make sure I can get my photographs labeled safely without damaging the photograph, but also so that the generations to come would be able to identify the people in the photographs. Now, I know it's difficult to see this photograph, um, but I have scanned it and you can see it below the video in this post. So what I did to actually label this is I used an artist graphite pencil. And what that does is a fairly soft lead. It lets me write on the back of the photograph. It is safe. It does not bleed through the photograph. It does not leave indentions on the photograph as I write. Of course, don't press too hard because you could if you pressed hard enough. But just to write regular, regularly, you will not leave the indentions there and it's safely done. And you can see it here. Again, difficult to see on the video, but you will be able to see it below the video in this post. And there you have it. Very simple, very inexpensive way to label some of your photographs for your generations to come. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye.